what's up you guys okay so you've been asking about this and i wanted to make a video a uh, just more updated video for you guys i've done a video version of this before where i was talking about the various different specialties and how much they make but you guys have been asking me about the number one like highest paying uh, pa specialty and so that is what this video is going to be out about i hope that you guys go ahead and check that other video out because you can see if there's anything that has changed over the past few years from when i first did this video so let's get into it right now what's up you guys sit down and welcome back to my channel okay so like i said did this before i'm gonna link it here for you guys so you guys can go check that out and you can do a little compare and contrast to see if anything has kind of changed if new specialties have moved in moved out fallen off completely who knows uh but you're gonna find out right now and i know you just want to get into the money and know how much these specialties make so i'm gonna start off with the top like the number 10 of the top 10 and we'll go down to the end and you guys can try and guess and see if you know which specialty is the one that makes the most money um let me know in the comment section below if you're right okay so the number 10 specialty is plastic surgery now if you want to be a plastic surgery pa this one is for you because they make a pretty decent penny they're coming in at one hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars on average a year and again this is an average obviously there are people in the plastic plastic surgery subspecialties that make a whole lot more and a whole lot less. Well, maybe not a whole lot less, but less, maybe let's say like $10,000 less, I would say. But on average, it's about 122,000. And take everything that I say with a grain of salt, because again, these are all averages. Um, for one of the specialties that they're talking about, I was like, no way. They're like, I know people making like 10, like boku, tens of thousands of dollars more than what this is saying. But again, it is the average. And this is coming straight from AAPA.org, which is our national like kind of governing body of the physician assistant um, career and profession. So, you know, this is not just me pulling this off of Google. This is from AAPA. Okay. So you can take it to the bank. Um, but with that being said, plastic surgery, they had like a little kind of diagram that showed how much they made and then um, like what the average burnout was. And it was like 33%, which is pretty good. That's like low. So, um, you know, high salary, low, low burnout. I think that's a good thing. All right, so the number nine specialty is radiology. Um, now, I don't really know that many people in radiology, but I know that there are quite a few people that are interested in it, um, you know, doing like IR stuff, um, helping out on that end. Um, and they make about 122.3 thousand a year, um, like 122,000. $350, I think is what the average was. And so that's pretty good too. Not that far away from plastic surgery. Um, and obviously this is on a group of people that they have surveyed. Um, AAPA sends out this survey every year um, to see what the salary or the average salary is. So if somebody chooses not to participate or if, you know, the higher paying, um, radiology PAs are not reporting, then that obviously skews this. But again, take it with a grain of salt, okay? Uh, I'm just giving you the facts. And their burnout rate is 42.9%. So uh, again, not even cracking 50%. So that is really good retention, which is great um, in my book. Okay, the next one is urgent care. Now the urgent care PA makes on average $123,517. And again, that is an average. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep saying this, but um, to me, those numbers sound really low just because I know people that make way more than that. But that is um, what AAPA's salary average is saying. Uh, however, their burnout rate is 54%. So they're, they're cracking that 50 percentile, um, which I mean, you can take it or leave it. It's not like super high, but it's just something to think about because, you know, obviously of the workflow and the caseload and all of those various different things. So uh, keep that in mind if you're trying to go into urgent care. The next one is neurosurgery. Now, neurosurgery is making 124,000 on average a year. Uh, their burnout rate though is 51.4%, so a little bit lower than the urgent care um, uh, contemporaries, but still over 50%. So again, uh, that may have to do with some of like the neurosurgeons and and their their. <laughs> 
their like ego or whatever the case may be their their various different like you know idiosyncrasies as neurosurgeons sometimes have uh or just the caseload as well so Again, something to keep in mind when you're looking at that. Uh, critical care PAs make about $124,886 on average a year, according to the survey. Um, I want to see what their burnout rate is, 63%, 63.4% to be exact. Um, and I thought it would be high because honestly, like they deal with a lot. They see a lot. There is a lot of like, you know, really tough situations surrounding them. Um, and, you know, they're relied on a lot when dealing with our patients. So I'm pretty sure that the burnout was going to be high. 64% seems high. Um, and actually, actually 63.4% seems high. And it is actually the highest uh, percentage of burnout in the top 10. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the next one is occupational medicine and they are making $125,600 on average a year. Their burnout rate, however, is 42.1%, um, closer to your radiology, plastic surgery area. Uh, you know, so, you know, if you want like the soft life, <laughs> If you're looking for that soft life, you know, hashtag soft life, um, then this might be one for you to get into. So this is my area. This is where I am at in the surgical subspecialties, you know, general surgery, acute care surgery, trauma. Um, so for our specialty, we make on average $127,775 a year. Um, again, uh, there are people that make way more than that, <laughs> but uh, that is the average of what was reported. And I am happy to say that our burnout is 32%, which is the lowest uh, in the top 10. But I think, again, that is all in terms of like specialty uh, specific because I feel like maybe in like your, you know, trauma surgery, the burnout might be a little bit higher than in your acute care surgery where you're dealing with lots of appies and gallbladders and things of that nature just because of the types of cases that you're coming in contact with. But um, on average, it's 32%, which is cool to see. The next one, the number three, so we're down to the top three uh, specialties. So the number three is emergency medicine. And it says that they make on average $129,146. And their burnout is 51.8%. So again, among the highest, um, actually, I think it is the fourth highest in the top 10. Uh, so if you are interested in some of these specialties, I think it is important to look at both, like not only like how much money you're making but also what is the burnout rate because that goes to show like what your overall um, lifestyle will be what your overall um, work-life balance might uh, be and you need to really take that into consideration when you're choosing a specialty uh, especially in this career that you have worked so hard to get to okay uh, the number two specialty is dermatology now I know a lot of people that love dermatology um, all the aesthetic stuff you know Know, Botox and lasers and all of that good stuff. Um, they are pulling in 146,000 on average a year which is cool you know obviously that means that there are people pulling in higher like way higher than that they're already in like the mid 100s so that's pretty cool um it's interesting though that dermatology is number two at 146,000 and plastics is at 122,000 because you would think that there is like some overlap in there where you know you when you get to like the more cosmetic side of things that that they would pull in more but it would be a very interesting to see if plastics plastic surgery PAs that deal solely in cosmetics, what their salary is in comparison to um, like their dermatology counterparts, because I promise you, I promise you it's very high. Uh, their burnout is 43.2%. Uh, so on average, on par with all of the other kind of like mid-range burnout <laughs> specialties. And now for the number one specialty, okay? The number one PA specialty that grosses the highest on average income is 
cardiothoracic slash cardiovascular surgery. Um, they are pulling in $147,200. Uh, their burnout rate is 47.6%. Again, pretty on par with all of the other like mid-range. Uh, it's not in the 60s like a critical care and emergency medicine. Um, so, you know, maybe closer to that soft life. Uh, but I did see um, just a report that they pull in the most amount of hours. You know, on average, they're doing like 60 hours a week, which is bananas because, you know, I'm doing like 72 to 80 hours in a two week expand um, so uh, it's just something to think about but I hope this information is very enlightening to you please tell me in the comment section below if you guessed which uh, specialty was the highest grossing one um, and if you didn't if you got close to it <laughs> uh, and then kind of tell me also what specialty you're thinking of going into and how that burnout rate plays on your on your mind in terms of if you're still interested or if you're kind of done well, you know, kind of questioning that or thinking it over a little bit. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other comments or questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.